Hey everybody, welcome to this Tech Talk brought to you by Cisco U. My name is Hank Preston, I'm a Principal Engineer in Learning and Certifications. And in today's talk, I wanna dive into the layer one of container networking. Layer one, that's right. That same concept in the physical world where we think about things like ethernet cables or fiber optic cables or maybe wireless network adapters and SSIDs. I wanna explore how that layer fits into the container world. Because despite containers being wrapped up in what sometimes feels like the mystery of Docker and Linux concepts, under the hood, containers leverage the same networking concepts we have in the rest of the networking field, including layer one ideas. And so for this, I put together this first drawing or this little simplified diagram to explore what we're gonna look at in today's video. And so we see why I've got a container called C1. Now containers are isolated objects running on a Linux host someplace. And we want to break that isolation by connecting it into the default Docker bridge network called bridge or also Docker zero on the Linux side itself. And so this is what we're going to see is how do we actually connect C1 up to this bridge network in place? All right, so let's jump into this and do some exploration. All right, we're gonna start out by looking at the actual networks configured in by Docker. So just to see what we've got there. So I'll do a Docker network LS, and we can see indeed I have a network called bridge by, on my Docker host. Now this is the default networking configuration that Docker starts out with. Now I've also got my container running. So if I do a Docker PS, it'll list out and there's my C1 container that we're gonna be referring to. And so we wanna go ahead and kind of explore how these things are connected together. We'll start out by inspecting the actual Docker network itself. So we'll do a Docker network inspect, and I'm gonna go ahead and actually pipe this and format it through JQ, jQuery, so that we can get a little bit of colorization, a slightly better output to make it easier to see. Oh no, Oop, that's right, hold on, we'll do this again. I missed a command, Docker network inspect, bridge, we have to say which network are we inspecting, and then we'll pipe this through JQ dot. All right, so what are we seeing here? We can see a lot of details about the actual Docker network that's in place. What I wanna focus in on today's video is down here, we can see that I do indeed have a container connected. And so in here we see our container C1 is connected into the, the, uh, the bridge network that's in place. And we can verify that on the other side by looking at inspecting the container itself. So if we do a docker inspect C1, and we'll pipe this again, we'll format it through jQuery. All right, well in here, down at the bottom, there's lots of output, but the bottom, what we can see here is the network settings information. And then underneath networks, we can see that there is a bridge network connected. And if we look at this network ID, we could go and compare this up to the bridge network ID from before. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up. We're gonna be looking for 02CF as the kind of the start of the network ID. All right, so here's where we inspected the bridge and sure enough, 02CF. So we can see in there with the output by inspecting the two, we can see that they really are in fact connected together. Now, the idea here is of this video is to actually peel back a little bit of the magic, see how this connection happens. <clears throat> now on a Linux host, if we wanted to inspect the different um, uh, links, the adapters that are on our host, we would use a command like IP link. So we wanna do that same thing inside of our Docker container. So I'll do a Docker exec so we can run a command inside, execute inside of a container, C1, and we'll run our IP link command. We can see from our container's perspective, there are two links in there. We've got kind of the standard loopback link, so that's that would be expected. But the new one, the one we're interested in here is this link that's identified as number 114, 114. And you can see it's named Ethernet Zero, and then it has this weird thing at the end of it, this at IF115. This is where we start to see a bit of the magic that's in place, kind of how these things go together. So let's actually do this same command but now we're gonna ask for more details with the dash D flag on the IP link command. All right, so when I run this, I get some additional details. Specifically, I can see down here, the type of link is VETH. It stands for virtual ethernet. Now, what is a virtual ethernet link to Linux? A virtual ethernet link is an interesting type of adapter or link that Linux can support. It's actually a two-side, <clears throat> 
It's actually a two-sided link. Every V-ETH comes in a pair, where the two different pairs provide a connection. Anything that enters in one of the two V-ETH sides will come out the other. For me, I like to think of a V-ETH like a virtual Ethernet cable. Just like the physical cables we would use, a V-ETH provides me the ability to connect two things together inside of Linux networking. And so what are we connecting together? This is where this at IF115 can come in really handy. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run our IP link show command on our host, right? So I don't have the Docker exec, but I'm just interested in the VETH links, the type VETH. And so when I run this, we can see that I have one link that shows up on the host. The ID number is 115. This is our first ability to connect and see how physical layer connectivity works. Is up inside the container, we have our virtual Ethernet adapt or virtual or our, we have our interface ETH0, which is a VETH, and the at IF115 tells me the other side of the interface. And right here it is. 115 is a VETH, and then Linux just gives it a random kind of a rest of its name. And then we can see in there it says at IF114 so that we can see the other side is indeed interface 114 inside the container. Now there's a couple other, there's one other way we can see how, uh, see the connection between these two VEs. And that's this thing down at the bottom. We can see we've got link NET or NET NSID0. That stands for, uh, kind of ties it back to some of the actual namespace identification information that's in place. And so we can see link and net NSID zero up here at the top is the other way we can see the other side of it because there it is again, link net NSID zero. That connects the two things together. So that's how we get the physical connection between the two pieces. So we've now got our virtual ethernet cable. But what does that cable really connect to? we're trying to connect into the Docker network, remember? And so this is where we look for this next piece of information. We can see, where is it? There it is. So in the output here from our IP link command on our host, we can see the host side of the virtual ethernet is connected to Docker zero. Docker zero is that bridge network that Docker has. And so if I do a brctl show, this gives me the ability to look at the details of the Linux bridge we can see that one, there's my Docker zero bridge name, and then kind of connecting all of these pieces together, we can see that the interface VETH 8323F58, which is the same interface up here, so we can kind of spot check, make sure the names are the same, so that interface name and this interface name, shows that the host side of the virtual ethernet cable is connected to the bridge. There you have it. We've got our layer one container networking worked out, and it revolves around this concept of the virtual ethernet interface type that Linux offers. And it allows us to take one end of the virtual ethernet cable and attach it to our container, and take the other end of our virtual ethernet cable and connect it into the network bridge that backs this Docker network that's in place. And that's it. All right, look forward to, or I look forward to seeing you on future videos where we'll dive into even more container networking topics. Thanks.